We have a very strong team in the supply chain management. They manage our suppliers quite well. We have, uh, I think, the purchasing power from Siemens, which is behind. So we see, we see here a, a certain advantage. But uh, we cannot deny that we also had some shortages, which didn't allow us to, number one, run uh, uh, manufacturing sites on full capacity. Um, and it didn't also allow us to produce the product mi mix we would like to have to. So we had some delivery delays for customers and we are working on to really get that straight. Main reason is, as you can imagine, mainly um, the semiconductor supply and this will continue for the next half year, we would say, and then let's see whether or not it's easing. Um, are you also um, affected by higher prices for primary products? It seems that especially commodities are uh, in, obviously in high demand, uh, but it's across the board, everything is getting more expensive. And can you pass those costs through to your customers? Yeah, we do see an increase in commodities, um, as everybody does. The bottom line impact on Siemens is, is not really um, big, it's marginal. Um, and we are also increasing our prices um, in product areas in particular. And um, to cut this story short, we could almost balance um, the increase in commodities and prices by the price increases. We talk a lot about inflation these days. So what is your assessment here? Are, you, are we entering a prolonged period of reinflation? Well, that's a good question. We believe that um, this inflation which we see could take a little bit longer. We also see that eventually the interest rates would uh, increase uh, after the United States, also in Europe. But it's, I would say it's speculation. We know that the, the commodity prices, energy prices are, are high. They might stay for a while, but everything else is speculation. So let's see and, uh, how, the, how the inflation is developing going forward. It's, it's stronger in the United States it's a, than it's in Europe at this point in time.